Now that you've created your AWS account, we can install and configure the AWS Amplify CLI. If you've not already installed Node.js and NPM, follow the link on the Get Started page to install them both. To install the CLI, we can run npm install-g at aws-amplify slash CLI. Now that the Amplify CLI has been installed, we can run Amplify Configure. This will open up the AWS console. Once you're logged into the console, you can jump back to the command line. Next, we'll be prompted to specify the AWS region. For me, that's US East 1. Now we have the option to specify the username of the new IAM user we're about to create. I'll give mine the username of Amplify User. When we press enter, this will open up the IAM dashboard in the AWS console pre-configured with the username that we specified in the command line setup. Here we can click Next Permissions, Next Review, and finally we can click Create User. When the user is created, we'll be given an access key ID and a secret access key. We're only given the secret access key once, so if you would like to keep this and reference it later, go ahead and download the CSV file. We'll next need to copy the access key ID to our clipboard. Back at the command line, we can now paste our access key ID into the prompt. Next, we'll also copy the secret access key. Go back to the command line and paste the secret access key into the prompt. Now we'll be asked if we would like to update or create the AWS profile on our local machine. For the profile name, I'll just leave this as default. Now the Amplify CLI has been configured and we can begin initializing new projects.